of when I used to go into guitar stores as a kid and I would only ever see Sunburst, maybe a black guitar, maybe a red guitar, uh, a white guitar, just very, a little bit more basic colors. And I always, I always wondered why, why some of these brands didn't take, take a risk with the color scheme, especially, I mean, you look, look at this guitar. Um, it's very vibrant and it stands out. I also like to wear a lot of dark colors, as you can see. And a lot of times when you have, you know, kind of contrasting colors, it, it, it stands out more, it pops a little bit more. And there's also something really interesting about, you know, when, it, when a guitar company comes to you and says, you know, what, what should we do next or what colors should we do next? And you kind of have, you know, the entire rainbow at your disposal. It's more fun sometimes to pick an off color than black or dark blue or something. There's enough dark blue guitars out there. <laughs> um, so it's kind of it's kind of just a personal preference. And you know, we've also experimented. Uh, I have a couple models. There was one that was in a uh, a dark green. I have uh, one that was in this Atomic Fire, which is called, which I have with me tonight. There's an Atomic Ice, which is kind of a, a burst of sorts. But it always comes back to that original palette, that sort of those old car or ice cream colors. Um, they just stand out a little bit more. When I first started playing guitar, it was a, it was a, it was a it was a Strat. It was a Squire Bullet I used to play. It was a real cheap guitar. I bought it used. I was about 14. So my hands initially just sort of grew grew around the concept of a, of, a, of an S-type guitar. You know, even where the, the pickup selector was, volume knob, the weight of it, the shape of it. I mean, if you look on your phone, the emoji is a it's that guitar. It's that red. That red guitar. So I just always had it in my mind that that was that was a guitar, and all my favorite players played the same instrument: Ingve, Jeff Beck, Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, all these amazing players. However, in high school, I bought a guitar that had a whole bunch of different features. I had a Floyd Rose, I had I had active pickups, I had locking tuning heads, I had everything, and it absolutely um, transformed the way I played in a bad way. It got to the point where everything I played had the whammy bar on it, brr, tuning, brr. everyone's just like, you sound really bad with this guitar. So anyway, so I sold that guitar and I bought a Telecaster. Kind of everything you see, in my, if, if you are a fan of my guitar playing, uh, everything you see or hear, for the most part, was developed on a PT guitar, PT style guitar. It's just clear the air. You know what I'm talking about. Um, when, you, when you hold a guitar like this and you play a guitar like this, um, it's truly a, 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 a player's instrument. You have to be a confident player to, to, to really um, you know, get the most out of an instrument like this because it is a difficult instrument. There's no, you can't hide behind anything. This is, this is gonna give you everything you want if you're ready for it, you know? Um, so when they offered me a, a second model, it was a no-brainer. It's like, let me go back to my roots and let's get, let's get this going again. However, I, I did something a little different. Uh, it has a push-pull, which is really cool, but it has a humbucker in the neck. And and having having the truss uh, adjustment here as well, I wish I had had that back in the day, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's the same neck as the as the uh, as the as the NJ Trad, which you know I, I the last thing I wanted to do even in the beginning when I was developing these guitars was change the neck. I already had it; it was perfect. Uh, it was just more so the tone woods and. The look of the guitar that was that was different, much much like this guitar where we changed the pickups and and you know changed some of the the features, took some vintage stuff but made it a little bit more modern. I kind of wanted to do the same thing with this, um, and we put a humbucker in the neck, which I find super interesting. I, I remember watching certain Tele players uh, play with a humbucker in the neck, and the sound they would get was was so different. It was so unique, much fatter. So, you know, in terms of, of use, um, if I go into the studio with this guitar and this guitar, I'm good. I don't need anything else. You know, I have, uh, I have everything I could possibly need. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a dream come true having both of these because um, they're sort of the building blocks of, of guitar playing.